Because after this gorgeous weekend, would you concur? I mean, it was like perfect right? fall, oh, yeah. crispy weather. Perfect. And all of a sudden now, uh, fall is being canceled. Summer's coming back <laughs> yeah. by the end of the week. We what don't want her. What's going on? She's dude? like, Yoo-hoo, I'm back. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, hello. Yeah, back in the forecast, so we have high pressure that's going to shift its way east, and when that does so, it's going to warm us back up. So enjoy tonight again. Enjoy tomorrow morning. We're going to be seeing temperatures down into the 30s and the 40s, warming up the rest of the week, and then we're going to have plenty of sunshine, little to no rain in the forecast. Let's talk, though, about the change that's going to be happening. So we've been kind of joking around saying it's fake fall in progress because high just this past Sunday was 68 degrees. Next Sunday, 91 in the forecast, at least for right now. But uh, if you like this cool area that's in place, don't worry. Tomorrow morning, it's going to be cool enough. Let's take a look at this. For parents getting the kids ready for school in the morning at bus stops, they're going to be chilly out there. Temperatures in the mid 40s to even the low 40s in some spots. So you might need an extra layer. Then after school, remind them to get their sweatshirt and bring it home. We'll see temperatures uh, in the mid 70s uh, for the uh, high temperature uh, for tomorrow afternoon. Let's take a look at the first alert satellite and radar combined. You're able to see we don't have a whole lot happening for us as far as uh, the cloud cover is concerned. We are continuing to see uh, any cloud cover well off towards the east northeast. Here's the high pressure that I'm talking about. That will continue to shift its way off towards the east. So in the upper levels, it's going to be moving eastward. So then transporting down to the surface, we're going to see more of an east to southeast surface flow, bringing the temperatures back into the mid 80s, a bit more moisture back into the forecast. Now, there's not enough moisture that we're Going to be dealing with a large amount of rain. A cold front will move its way through Wednesday into Thursday. Small little rain chances with this at a, maybe a 10%. To 20% chance if we're lucky, but I think it's going to be very small rain chances late to Wednesday night into early Thursday morning. The front moves its way through. The wind shift around a bit, but cold air doesn't follow that. We're not going to be seeing a nice, a colder air mass move in. At least right now, though, we do have that cool air in place. It's 56 degrees, very dry airs in place. So with light winds tonight, temperatures are going to be dropping off. So as we go into the two to three o'clock time frame, 50 to 49 degrees, on our way to temperatures down to the low 40s to the upper 30s in some spots. Then plenty of sunshine tomorrow warms us back up to about 74 to 75 degrees. So another great fall day on the way. It could be 80 out in the west sides of North Texas to the low 70s in the east sides, and I do expect a lot. Of sunshine through the day tomorrow. The first alert seven day forecast, though, shows we start to warm up. We'll see 86 degrees on Friday, Saturday near 90 degrees, Sunday 91 in the forecast, record high on Sunday's 94, and then on Monday we'll see 87 degrees. So enjoy fall because it's going to go away for a bit. It's like the X that just won't go away. I know. All right. <laughs> Get on I out guess. of here. <laughs>